first graders. What's up? Hello, good morning. It's nice to see you. Today is Saxon Phonics Lesson 104, Digraph OA. So let's start with our letter cards and you tell me what are the names of the letters starting final syllable. Ready? Final syllable T I O N. Digraph A U. Digraph A W. Diphthong O U. Diphthong digraph O W. Digraph U E. Vowel Y. Combination E R. Trigraph I G H. Digraph A I. Digraph A Y. Combination A R. Digraph C H. Combination O R. Q. Combination Q U. Combination I R. Combination U R. Digraph E A. Diphthong O I. Diphthong O Y. Final syllable T I O N. Great work. Okay. Let's move to our picture cards and we'll start with faucet ah. Ready? Faucet ah. Straw ah. Mouse ow. Cow ow. Glue, ooh, cry, I, candy, e, rain, a, hay, a, butter, er, star, r, light, i, cheese, ch, horse, or, bird, er, turtle, er, lotion, shun, circle, s, leaf, e, thread, e, eh, steak, a, bow, o, Banana, a, uh, oil, oi, toy, oi, faucet, ah. Uh. Good work. Okay, let's do our suffixes starting suffix ing. Ready? Suffix ing, suffix t, t, ed, suffix es, suffix s, z, suffix less, suffix ness, suffix li, suffix E suffix ing. Good work. Okay, let's come now to our spelling sounds. And good news, today is kind of an easy day as far as spelling sounds go. Number one. Digraph TH. Remember, when I point at you, it means you say it. Number two, G, G. Write it nice and small so you don't bump the one below it. Number three, eh, E. Good work. Number four, V, digraph, T-H. That's the other sound of T-H. Number five. This is one that I've kind of changed. Maybe your teacher hasn't done this, but I like to do this one. We'll see how you do with it. Number five. T -d -ed, t -d -ed, suffix ed. You got it. Number six. P. 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 Number seven. Ng, digraph, and G. This is also one your teacher might not do, but I like to do it because we use it so much in first grade. Number eight. Ng, I, and G. Good. First was NG. Ng says I, and G. Number nine. Two things make this sound. Z, Z, comma, S. Z. Number 10. N, N. Nice work. Okay, scooting down to number 11, our spelling review words. Let's review the wild cult words that we learned yesterday. By number 11, spell for me the word Old. What word? Old. 
I think that was too easy. Spell for me the word old ready. O L D. Nice work. Number 12, I'm going to give you a root word and a suffix. So get your choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in finding. Root word suffix finding is find ing. Root word find. Add your suffix. Make it find ing. Find ing. Okay, spell it for me starting F. Ready? F. I N D I N G. Nice work. Two wild cult words right in a row. I love it. Okay, let's just put our worksheet aside for a minute and I want you to look up here on the board. Up here on the board, I have three words that all have the same sound and I want you to see if you can listen what sound is the same in each of these three words. My turn first. Toad, roast, coal. Listen again. What sound is the same in toad, roast, coal? Three times the sound was o, o, o. You got it, it was the O sound. There are two letters making the O sound. If you think you know what they are, will you just say them with me in each word? The two letters saying O are O A, O A, O A. You got it. O A is going to be our new digraph. And remember, a digraph is two letters that come together and make one sound. So in these words, we're going to go like this and say O, A, O, and make that one sound. Will you do it with me starting O? Ready? O, A, O. Nice job. O, A says O, and of course it's a digraph, so we have to underline it to show that those two letters go together. So I will underline O, A. And because I don't hear the A, I'm just going to cross it out. And then I will macron above the O to show it says O, O, O. So I call it underline, cross out, macron. Will you try it with me on the next one? Ready? Underline, cross out, macron. One more. Underline, cross out, macron. Nice job. And that's called digraph O, A. Now I know what some kids are going to say. They're going to say, Miss Smith, didn't we learn yesterday that O says O, O, O when it's a wild cult word and it's followed by two consonants, like in the word ol? Mm-hmm, yep. But O, A can also say O if it's next to an A, but it will be a digraph, not a wild cult word. Good question. Okay. Let's do some practice with this. Would you get out either a whiteboard or a piece of paper, something that you can practice with? And let's do some O words. Guess what? Some kids ask, Miss Smith, how do I know if I'm supposed to use OA or if I'm supposed to use O consonant E? My answer is today, all of our words that say O, O, O will be spelled with a digraph OA. Did you hear it? They'll be spelled with a digraph. O A. Yep, digraph O A. So our first word, oh, I hope this isn't too easy. Spell for me the word boat. What word? Boat. Remember to code it as soon as you spell it. See if you know how to do those coding marks. Okay, boat should be spelled B O A. A T. Digraph away. Underline, cross out, macron, boat. Okay, as soon as you uh, have that, you can fix it if it's wrong, but if not, when I say erase, erase, we're just going to go to the next word. And if you're doing it on paper, remember you don't have to erase it, just go to the next one. Okay, erase, erase. Next word, spell for me the word toast. What word? Toast. It's coded. 
toast should be spelled T-O-A-S-T, toast, digraph O-A, underline, crossed out, macron. Nice job, erase, erase. Next word, this is our part of our body on our neck, is our throat. What word? Throat. You have a throat. Okay, let's check it. Throat should be spelled digraph T-H-R-O-A-T. So we have a digraph T-H and a digraph O-A. Uh, I hope you noticed though, digraph T-H is a consonant digraph because it's made out of two consonants, T and H. Digraph O-A is a vowel digraph because it starts with a vowel, vowel O. Okay, did you notice that? Erase, erase. Next word, this is somebody who teaches uh, athletes how to play sports. The word is coach. What word? Coach. Think about what says k, k, k in front of O. Oh, coach. You can look at our K and C signs if you need to. Which one says k in front of O oh or coach? Okay, let's check it. Coach should be spelled C-O-A-C-H, digraph C-H, digraph O-A, and then of course I could put my K back on my C to show it says K. Give me a little thumbs up if you got C in front of O for K, K, coach. Good. And if not, of course, fix it. You know that, right? You know you can fix it always. Okay. Next word, get your choppers out. Tell me the root word and suffix in roads. Root word suffix roads is road. Root word is road. Add your suffix. Make it say roads. Roads. Okay, let's check it. Root word road should be spelled R-O-A-D with the suffix S. And of course I boxed my suffix, but I probably also need to do a voice line because listen, roads makes the voice sound erase, erase. Ugh, I don't like to do this next word because it's kind of gross. It means a really gross bug but we're gonna do it anyway. Okay, choppers out. Tell me root word and suffix in roaches. Root word suffix roaches is roach as. Root word is roach. Add your suffix, make it say roach as, roach as. And I hope you're noticing roach that's one of our hissing sounds. So we can't just use the suffix s. Think about what suffix comes after a hissing sound. Okay, let's check it. Roaches should be spelled R-O-A-C-H with a suffix E-S, roach s. Digraph O-A, underline cross out macron, digraph C-H and box the suffix s. Erase, erase. Ugh, I'm so glad to erase the word roaches. I do not like roaches. Next word, last word, choppers out. Tell me root word and suffix in soapy. Root word suffix soapy is soap. E. Root word is soap. Add your suffix, make it say soap. E. And I'll give you a clue, it's not a letter E. Think about which suffix says E, 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 but it's not a letter E. Ready? Okay, soapy should be spelled S-O-A-P 
with a suffix Y. Ooh, thumbs up if you got a Y, and if you didn't, fix it. Digraph O A. Erase, erase. Good work on that. Now, here's what's going to happen. Some kids are going to say, Miss Smith, you didn't give us room to add a new spelling sound for OA says, oh, that's because we're not going to add it to our spelling sounds. We don't usually actually use OA very often. It's usually O consonant E or digraph OW at the end of the word. So we're not going to add OA to our spelling sounds, but at least you know how to read it. Okay, come up to the top by number 13. Still using OA says O, oh, spell for me the word boat. What word? Boat. Okay, spelling boat, starting B, get ready. B O A T. Nice job. Number 14, spell for me the word float. What word? Float. Okay, spell for me the word float, starting F. Ready? F L O A T. Float. Number 15. Uh, I'm actually not going to help you with choppers this time. I'm just going to see if you can do it. Root word and suffix in soapy. What word? Soapy. Add your suffix, soap e, soap e, it's not a letter e. Spell it, ready? S O A P Y, vowel Y. Good work. Okay, I feel bad, but I forgot to do something. My mom would tell me I'm forgetful, Jones. I forgot to show you our new letter card and picture card, so I'm gonna show that to you right now. From now on, when you see this card, I want you to say, digraph O-A. Will you try it with me, ready? Digraph O-A, you got it. And our picture card for digraph O-A is something that you use to make yourself clean. You scrub, scrub, scrub with it in the shower or in the bathtub, and it's the word soap. We say soap. Oh, will you do it? Soap, oh, nice job. So I will add those to our decks and we will start practicing those from now on. Okay, number 16, remember in coding, you stay right with me so that we make sure we get it right, even if you can go faster than me. And I do have a little story for you about something we've talked about today after we do the coding. Ready? 16, digraph OA, underline cross out macron. Starting G, get ready. Groan. What word? Groan. You got it, groan. 17, digraph OA, underline, cross out, macron. Starting F, get ready. Foal. What word? Foal. You got it, a foal is a baby horse. Match it. 18, box your suffix ing. Root word, digraph OA says O, oh, underline, cross out, macron. Digraph CH, underline. Will you read just the root word first? Oh, I almost forgot a K back on my C. Okay, will you read just the root word first? Starting C, get ready. K, O, CH, whole word, coaching. You got it, coaching. 19, digraph TH, underline. Digraph OA, Underline, cross out, macron. Starting TH, read it, get ready. Throat, what word? Throat, like this is your throat. 20, box your suffix ing. Root word, OA says O. Oh. Underline, cross out, macron. Will you read just the root word first? Starting T, get ready. Toast, whole word, toasting. You got it, toasting. Like you take two glasses and clink them together. You're toasting, you're celebrating. 21, box your suffixes. 
root word digraph sh underline breathe above the i will you read just the root word first starting d get ready d ish whole word dishes you got it that word is dishes 22 diphthong o w says ow arc it diphthong e r no combination e r says er arc it and then nice and small will you find the vowel pattern o is a vowel e is a vowel consonant consonant split the syllables split it between the w and the d will you read it one syllable at a time starting p get ready pow der what word powder you got it like you put powder on your nose 23 compound word ready digraph ee -E, underline cross out make run next word i consonant e make wrong cross out and then will you split it right after the second letter e between the e and the h read one word at a time starting b get ready b hive what word beehive you got it match it there's the beehive 24 oh this one's kind of tricky because we have two ow's first ow is a digraph underline cross out micron second ow is a diphthong says ow arc it and then will you split it between the two words between the w and the p read one word at a time starting s get ready snow plow what word snow plow you got it like the snow plow pushes the snow away 25 last Ay, 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 first graders. This is a third grade word, maybe even a fourth grade word. I can't believe, oh, I can't believe you have to read this. <sighs> Deep breath, we can do it. I will help you, ready? Final syllable, T-I-O-N, bracket. Oh my goodness, then come over here. Combination E-R says er, arc it. And now we have a vowel pattern. Ready? I is a vowel, E is a vowel. In the middle of that, consonant, consonant, split the syllables. Split it between the N and the T. Breathe above the I. Oh, but look what I still have. This E is a vowel and the U is a vowel. So I have another vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant, split the syllables i don't put anything above my e it's already a combination er but i do put a breathe above the u oh, what okay we're going to read one syllable at a time starting on i get ready in ter rup shun a little faster ready in ter rup shun what word interruption Whoa, you just read that word interruption if somebody interrupts you it means you're talking and they start talking while you're talking it's called an interruption okay I told you I would tell you a story about one of these words and the story I'm gonna tell you is about the word soap so I don't know if you know this or not but I have a little sister her name is Erin and when I was in first grade and Aaron was in kindergarten, Aaron made me so mad one day because I had a little stuffed baby doll that I loved. Her name was Lucy. And I carried Lucy with me everywhere that I went. And one day I could not find Lucy anywhere. And I looked under my bed and I looked in my closet and I looked behind my dresser, but no matter where I looked, I couldn't find Lucy. And I started to go walking down the hall to tell my mom that Lucy was lost and to ask her if she could help me. And I walked past my sister Erin's room and I saw her sitting in her room playing with, guess who? Lucy, she was playing with my doll and I was so mad. So I walked in there and I yanked Lucy out of her hand. I said, give me back Lucy. And she said, no. And she tried to pull on Lucy and I had to, she yanked and then I yanked and she yanked and I yanked. And finally I said something so naughty. It was so naughty. 
I said, Erin, you're being dumb. <gasps> and my mom heard me say it because my mom had been coming up the stairs. And my mom came into the room and she said, oh, Sarah, you do not call your sister dumb. So then guess what she did? She took me into the bathroom and she said, you know what? That is not a very clean word. You need to use nice words with your sister, so I'm going to put soap in your mouth to remind you to use clean words. And I said, no, I don't want soap in my mouth. And she said, open up. And I opened my mouth and she took a little squirt of soap and put it on my mouth. And it tasted so bad, it was awful. Ugh. But guess what? After that, I didn't call my sister dumb anymore. I learned my lesson. So, last thing. We're going to do our sight words. This is your ticket to putting your worksheet away to do your sight words with me. Starting sight word, Ben. Ready? Ben, friend, are, from, what, color, your, you, who, to, into, do, the, would, don't, thought, fought, brought, goes, does, some, come, there, there, won't, should, put, was, to, done, want, where, bought, one, sure, Ben. Nice job. Okay, first graders, I will see you next time. Bye.